Hi, I'm Jim Ross, cinematographer with Cinematics HD, and this is cinematography tips from the back of my grip truck. Today I want to talk about whether you should really plan out and storyboard your shot list or just kind of shoot from the hip when you show up on location. Now, you really do want to plan out what you're going to do beforehand. And if you've got the time and the budget and the schedule to do it, that's the right way to do it. But so many times we're working on independent shorts and things that we're doing on the weekend for the fun of it. And there's just not enough time to go through a shot list. And let me explain why. You get on location and you find out like we were doing with this series, we were doing two shorts a day. Well, you can't be on location and shoot two shorts in a day if you are gonna be doing multiple, multiple, multiple setups. So when the director comes to you and he's got this great shot list and you start doing down the shot list and you realize you've got 17 setups and you've got two hours to shoot this scene, it just cannot be done. It just can't. You just can't do that kind of work in that kind of time. If you're in Hollywood, yeah, you could do that setup and you could be there for two or three days to do two or three pages of script. But when you're doing a short or an independent thing, you gotta do the whole thing in the day. And you got people there who are getting paid, so you gotta be very uh, concerned about their time. So what I usually do is I assess when I get there. It doesn't mean you don't have to storyboard because that gives me an idea of the director's vision. But then when I get there, I usually have the director go ahead and block the whole scene out with the actors. And they run through the whole scene. And I watch it very intently and I figure out how can I get this done in the fastest time possible. It's a balancing act, time and quality. The more time, the greater quality. But the more time, the less you can get. And it's always that balancing act. This is something you can only get from experience. So what I usually do is I figure out, first of all, how to get the master shot or the coverage. And a good way to think of that is how can you get this entire scene in one shot, a one-er. And if you don't know what a one-er is, look up one-ers, especially about from Steven Spielberg, Spielberg one-ers on YouTube, and you'll see a lot of really great shots that were done in one take. But it doesn't mean you're gonna use only one take, but since you start with that shot and you do the whole scene through, you know that you've got what you need for your short. Then everything after that is gravy. Everything after that is frosting on a cake. So if you get the coverage, for example, uh, in the scene where we were doing the mockery of the pharmaceutical, the director had this elaborate shot list and I decided, why don't we do it all as a one -er? And we did it with a movie. And we could have stopped right there. In fact, the director was happy with it right there. But then we decided we have time, now we can go for the gravy or the frosting, as I like to say. And so we went in, we made those pickup shots. And we took those pickup shots and the, the little, the close-ups of the hand in the cup and the face and all those other things that, that were frosting on the cake until we ran out of time. And that's a great way to work when you're working on a short. You, you get what you need, you know you can go right to the edit, sweet right now, but since we still have time, we can get these extras. And that's a great way to work on when you're working on shorts and indies and stuff like that on the weekend. And it's a kind of process you learn through experience. So just do it. Just figure out how can I do this in a water? And then how can we sweeten it up? And how can we add a little bit here? And that's a great way to work when you're not working on a professional set with a professional uh, crew and you're limited by time. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope this tip from the back of my grip truck has been helpful. Be sure to like, subscribe, and all that other good YouTube stuff for GGHK, and I'll see you next time.